Well, good morning to you. Happy Saturday. I hope you have a restful weekend in store. Well, I wanted to share uh, a little bit with you today. I, you know, we've all had to make so many adjustments and changes in the last couple of months. Our schedules are all askew and we've slowed down and and um, and certainly we've had to accommodate and um, become used to a new normal for all of us. Well, I wanted to share personally in our household, one of the big challenges that we have. I have a middle schooler and a high schooler who are both very anxious to be back in school this fall, back in the classroom. Uh, we tried our hand at virtual school and that was challenging, I'm gonna have to say, um, but they're ready to be back. And we don't really have an answer for whether or not they will be able to be back in school this fall. The county is still working on plans and safety precautions and, and what the fall might look like. And their best answer right now is we're just not quite sure yet. And that's the appropriate answer for right now. It creates a little anxiety in our home because we have this great unknown about what the fall will look like as far as school goes. And I know so many of you have unknowns. You have um, things that you're just not sure of. You have challenges that you are facing and um, things are tough trying to figure out what what we do, what we don't do, how we do. Um, so I know there's a lot of unknown there. So I wanted to just share with you one verse this morning that brings me a great amount of comfort and I hope that it will bring you that same level of comfort as well. It's Psalm 29, 11, and that verse says, the Lord gives his people strength. The Lord blesses them with peace. You see, God does give us strength for the journey, strength for whatever it is we might face, and God gives us peace a peace in our heart, a peace that only God can provide for us, strength and peace. Oh my goodness, how I want to be filled with God's strength and God's peace in my life today. Well, as I've done before, I encourage you to take that verse and write it down on a note card or a sticky note and place it somewhere where you can see that in the coming days and reflect on those words and to know that God gives you strength and God gives you peace. I hope that this weekend and in the days to come, you'll experience just that.